y'all welcome to day four it is just about five o'clock in the morning i've been up since three couldn't sleep that good i don't know why ready to get back at it um really don't have too far to get to dalton but um actually i think the first dollar general i'm gonna pass on that long road march is like 50 something miles from here so i'm gonna plan on three solid days even though i'll probably be there much sooner uh, I don't know. Three days might be right. Anyway, so um, here's what we're taking. I love filming this because food is what everybody's passionate about, or at least a lot of people. So here we go. So for breakfast, I've got Belvita protein um, cookies, if you will, with a pack of Nature's, Nature's Path Pop-Tarts. It's three of each. Then for my morning snack, got some almond butter with a Laura bar all three days. For lunch, I have a peanut butter banana um, cliff bar. I don't know where you've been my whole life. I wish I had those on my AT with some almond butter and some honey on top. Times three. My afternoon snack is a Nature's Bakery fig bar with another lore bar. Times three. And then for dinner, um, I've got chicken fried rice chicken and dumplings, and beef stew, all with the Lenny's and Larry's smaller cookie, and some olive oil. And then my overall snacks, um, sweetened banana chips, and combos. So out of all of this, as you can see, I'm trying to eliminate a lot of process, well, not let's not say processed, because a lot of this is highly processed. A lot of um, unneeded sugar, not a lot of candy bars. Um, most of my sweet is being intake, or I'm sorry, is being uptook by honey. And I know there's some sugar on the bananas, but that's okay because I'm putting out some, some massive calories and combos. Man, they're my weakness out here right now. So that's my that's my bad boy stuff right there. All right, y'all, back on trail. It's about 8.30, 19 October. After almost exactly 24 hours since they picked me up yesterday. Heading up into the woods. On our way to the Penhody. Should reach the intersection this evening. And then uh, start making our way southbound towards Dalton. Let's do this. cubs are climbing a tree probably 30 yards from me scared of me and I just knew mom mom would be close behind next thing you see is a big old mama bear raise her head up look at me and then two little cubs I walked past they scurried back down the tree and got with mom and took off down the hill so hate scaring them cool to see nature is amazing wow
Van Houten, he already uh, gaining some admission feed. It's a steep climb, boy. Woo. We're heading up to three, which is the highest point on the whole Van Houten. Looks like we head back down to the flatlands. We will stay for some time where I'll be camping tonight. I hate camping in low areas. I hate it. But whatever. We'll survive. There's plenty of water. Love that. These downhills are torture on the knees in the late day. This is a pretty trail so far. I was up at Buddy Gap, that's the highest point on the AT across the road where you saw the no badminton sign on the side of the Finhody sign. Don't let me catch nobody playing badminton out here. Don't let me catch them. But I got to call Teresa. Um, so that always makes my day. My son gets his driver's license tomorrow. So anybody in the Southern Pines, Aberdeen, Vast, North Carolina, Pinehurst locations, um, yeah, watch out. It just got real. All right, y'all. I'm going to call it a night. Go ahead and close out. I did about 22 miles. Um, Mom and Steve dropped me off at 8.30, started hiking. Did 15 on the um, BMT, such a beautiful trail, y'all. Oh, love that trail. And then did um, about seven, seven-ish on the Penhody already. And following that creek, you saw the waterfall in the video. Um, it's been gorgeous. Let me show you what I got here. All right, so I've got her raised up high tonight, both. Doors on each side are gonna be open. What happens when you raise it up high like this, you just gotta know your bathtub floors are gonna come way up, meaning that you have less room inside, but it's worth it tonight. You just gotta be careful because I got everything really tight and all these stakes. If I get in there and start putting gear along the side of that bathtub floor right there, um, it's gonna put more tension on them, on the tent and on those stakes. So anyway, just gonna show you how I'm doing it. We'll see what the results are. Probably still gonna have condensation, it's just the way it is. I'm not making it out of here tonight. Still got a whole lot of miles before we get out of this um, river basin or this creek basin, but I love it. Can't wait to hike it in the morning. All right, y'all. Appreciate you all following along. It's been a blast. I want to say um, congratulations to my son tomorrow who's going to get his driver's license. Uh, thanks to my family back home. Thanks to Teresa. I miss Blossom. Um, miss everything about being home. This is pretty cool. What a cool experience. And this is the first time I've ever forded a creek on a trail anywhere in something other than my shoes. So interesting. First time for everything. All right, y'all. Hope everybody has a good night. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Deuces.